Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Claudio Sigbe. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to um, run barcode student ID card generating system in C Sharp. So currently, I'm using Visual Studio 2022. So I have opened it already. So what I'm going to do right now without wasting much of your time is that I'm going to um, click on file. I'm going to close this solution and then exit from Visual Studio so that I'm going to take you through this step, um, through this uh, process step by step. So what I'm going to do right now, this are all the files that made up the project barcode student ID card generating system in C sharp. So this is the solution file. I'm going to double click on it here. Going to double click on it here to open a Visual Studio. So make sure you have um, installed Visual Studio 2022 in your PC. So, okay, so I have this scaling um, right here. So this is for me. I'm just going to restart Visual Studio to um, scale it to 100%. Okay, so this is for me. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do right now is we have a project that has been loaded for us in um, Visual Studio. So guys, before we continue, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button and also um, click on that notification bell. If you like the video, click on the like button. So um, I'm going to take you down to the um, solution explorer where we have all the forms and all the files that made up the um, project so for this i'm going to use um, a usb barcode reader okay so it's a very um, simple barcode it's working very well for me um, if you want to use this project i'm going to advise you to get one so um, i'm going to show you the library the SDK that I've used for the barcode. So for me to be able to generate barcode, I've used the Zen barcode library. And then for me to be able to read the the um, barcode that has been generated in the ID card. So I've used a USB barcode scanner library. Okay, so for me to um, take or capture um, student photo, um, using the webcam, I have used EMGU CV and Open CV. Okay, but for the, um, but for me to, I actually implemented this in two ways. All right. So the first option is for you to, um, capture student photo, you see, using the webcam. Okay, and then you also have the option to upload student photo. Um, manually from your computer okay so for me to be able to capture student photo using the webcam i use emg ucv and open cv library okay so i'm just going to you know close these references right here and then um this is the student's registration form okay and then this is the design view okay the UI view for this student ID card. So if you get the project and your you want to change all the student record right there, you're free to do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now without wasting much of your time is that I'm going to you know start this project. So for me to do that, I'm just going to click on start. All right. So before I do that, um, you would ask me which database um did i use for this project okay i'm going to tell you i use um sql server local db okay sql server local db is what i use for um this project all right so if you're using visual studio 2022 um you have no problem okay for whether downgrading or upgrading so you you are just fine okay so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to okay let me take you to where i'm going to start the project i'm just going to click on start button right here okay and click on start all right so i'm going to log in as the admin now the system has two users one is the admin user and then 
one is the admin and the other one is the normal user so first i'm just going to log in as the admin user then i'm going to show you all the um, features and everything that the admin have then i'm just good then later i'm going to also log in as the user so for the admin i'm going to click on login so for the admin the admin um can register students can also um the admin can generate id card then the admin can view report and then log out okay so um what we are going to do right now is that we are going to start with the student registration so i'm just going to click on okay i can maximize this if i want i'm going to click on register student button okay so now the student id is auto generated but you know i made this open so you can decide to enter your own student id so for demo purpose i'm just going to press to use this um, student id right there okay so every single data or record that we're, that we're going to use right now is for demo purpose so i'm just going to start filling the form So the departments, I'm just going to select any of this. And then for the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to use the webcam. I'm going to upload photo manually. So, okay. So I'm going to click on the generate barcode button to generate my barcode. All right. So I'm just going to take a look at what I've done. If everything is filled and it's okay by me, I'm going to click on the submit button. Students registered successfully so i'm going to click on ok all right so all the fields on the forms control all, all the form control um, has been reset so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to click on close all right so for me to be able to generate my um, student id card i'm going to block my barcode reader yeah so that noise is for the barcode reader so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to show you how the admin also have the or uh, have the privileges to um also generate id card and then the normal user okay can also generate id card so first i'm going to show you um how to generate id card okay on the admin dashboard so i'm going to click on generate id card all right again so you are free to change the design of the id card form so i'm going to scan my barcode i've printed it out i'm just going to scan it okay so that is my the my student id card has been generated for me okay so what i'm going to do right now is that uh, i'm going to click on the print button as you can see there's a, a print icon right there that you can print this id card so if you have a printer that prints id card of course you can use it to print the student id card so this is our print preview i'm going to maximize this all right so i'm going to zoom this to 100 percent zoom 100 percent so this i think the preview okay looks good for me okay to me all right so um as you can see there is no there is no ad additional borders or close buttons or all of those distractions okay so everything is just perfect the way we want it all right so if you have a printer attached to your computer you can just click on the printer icon right there and the id card will be printed out for you okay so this is how it looks it looks perfect okay to me so what i'm going to do right now is that uh, i'm going to um click on the close button so the barcode is unique for every student so it's itself as a unique identity for every student so i'm just going to click on the close button right there and then i'm going to click finally i'm going to click on this um close button right there click it 
okay so what i'm going to do is that uh, okay for the purpose of this demo again um let's come to different barcodes okay so let's count two different barcodes so that you'll see you, you see how this thing works i'm going to scan the first one then scan another one so i'm going to start with this that's the first student the id card has been generated so for the purpose of this demo i'm just going to scan another barcode see that so these are all demo data just for testing purpose okay so that's another student id card has been generated you see how fast it is see that's another one okay so that now th this is how the whole system works so i'm just going to click on the close button right there so even with this okay let's see let's click on the print button once again and the print preview will pop up so let's zoom at 100 percent go to 100 percent okay this is what we have here you can of course click on the print icon right there to print your id card so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to click on close then i'm going to click on report okay let's close this id card form then i'm going to click on the report button so these are all the registered um, students that we have on our database. Okay, all the records here are for demo purpose. So I'm going to click on the close button. So before I click on the close button, I'm going to show you this. Now you can export this student records to Excel. Okay, you can save it, you can export it, and then open it in your Microsoft Excel sheet. Okay, so I'm going to click on the close button. And I'm going to click on logouts. Click on logouts. And then I'm going to now log in as a normal user just to show you that the system has two parts. Okay, the normal user and the admin user. So for the normal user, the normal user has less uh, privileges. Okay, only to generate ID card and to log out. All right, so that is the that's the only privileges that the um that's the only privileges that the normal user has okay so i'm going to click on the generate id card button and then i'm going to show you this i've shown you in the admin dashboard now we are using the normal user dashboard so i'm going to scan my barcode okay so the our id card has been generated for this demo student so again we are going to click on the printer icon to print out our id card so this is our print preview the print preview is just to help you you know see the output the sample output um, of how the id card will look like when printed in the in your id card material okay so if you prefer to print it on a plastic id card or whatever um materials that you um have or that you prefer to use okay it's okay you can go ahead and do that all right so once again this barcode is unique okay to every student so i'm going to close this right here and then again i'm going to test this again i'm going to scan another student okay that's another one scan the first one okay so guys this is how this whole thing works i'm just going to stop here so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button if you like the video please click on the like button okay and also turn on that notification bell so thank you so much for watching i'm going to um drop um details on the video description on how to um get the project source code okay so thank you so much for watching goodbye for now see you in my next video